Hello friends, welcome you in this video tutorial and you are watching KK Java tutorials. In this video tutorial, we'll talk about the two important points regarding interface in Java. First, uh, when one interface extends another interface or you can say when one interface extends multiple interfaces, then what happens with, with the implementation class? Now, let's talk about the, as we know that just like a class, uh, if an interface in Java is inheriting another interface, it uses extends keyword, right? Uh, an interface unlike class can extend more than one interface. If a class implements an interface that inherits another interface, right? It must provide implementation of all the methods that are there in the uh, inheritance chain of the interface, right? So let's try to understand these things through an example. So here I have uh, two interfaces in this package, uh, my interface one, which we had seen in the previous example. So here we have a one cons constant and as we know that interface constant is by default uh, public static final and we have two abstract methods. So as we know that even though if you do not declare public abstract before your method is still this is considered as a public and abstract right. Now we have another interface is called my interface two and that extends uh, my interface one. But one interface can extend man multiple interfaces. So if you have a multiple interfaces, uh, if your interface extends multiple interfaces, then every interfaces you will have to write here after extends keyword, every interface you need to write with the comma separated. And this interface is having one more me one method, right? And uh, parent interface is having a uh, two methods. Now if uh, if you have another class which implements basically uh, my interface to then uh, that uh, implementation class basically going to basically implement all these three methods these two methods from interface one and uh, one method from interface through so all the methods which is available in the inheritance hierarchy uh, this implementation class has to basically implement and that's the reason you can here you can see uh, method one implementation then you have a method two and finally you have a method three implementation let's cut and paste somewhere here so all these three uh, basically uh, methods uh, implementation class has to implement sorry guys so let's uh, uh, do cut and put it here right and of course you can apply at override method before these uh, implemented method as well right and we have a main method and from main method we are accessing the constant which is available in my interface one and we are calling a uh, method one and method two and if you run this application this will run successfully so there is a, another implementation class there is an error that's was this tool was showing some pop-up and we get the output now uh, let's come back to the slide and here second point we are going to discuss partial implementation by a class means if a class implements an interface but does not implement all the methods of the inter that interface then the class must be declared as abstract so let's try to understand so here i have another implementation class is called my interface impl2 that implements basically my interface one and this interface is having a two methods right two abstract method so here you get the compilation error because basically compilers a compiler is showing uh, compiler is throwing a compilation and saying that implements all the methods available in the my interface one so i would choose add unimplemented method so method uh, method body is getting added automatically you don't need to write this is explicitly let's say i am not planning to implement this in uh, this method only i want to uh, implement uh, this method in this class then see what error compiler is showing S showing that the type my interface to must implement inherited uh, abstract method like my interface one dot method two which accepts a string argument else you have also second choice saying that make my interface to abstract so if i make this class as abstract then this error is not uh, coming right this error has went away right so if you do not your class do not implements all the methods of this interface then your class has to uh, declare abstract and same happens for this uh, let's say you have a my inter uh, my interface impl1 
and this interface basically implements uh, my interface 2 and my interface 2 uh, basically extends uh, my interface 1 so all the methods in the hierarchy uh, that should be implemented by your my interface impl1 and that's the reason your class implements all the methods available in the inheritance hierarchy so let's say if you do not want to implement this method method 3 which is available in the uh, basically my interface 2 then again your uh, this class has to declare as abstract right so that's the key point that's that these two key, key points i wanted to discuss in this video tutorial we'll see some more concept about the interfaces in java in next series of video tutorial guys so i hope you enjoy learning this video if you really like this video then hit on the like button don't forget to share and subscribe my youtube channel guys big thank you and see you there in the next video tutorial